Hey y'all, Rob Kalpa here, coming to you live from the parking lot of my gym. Luckily, the gym is still open. Um, all of our group classes are ended for right now, um, but we are cleaning extra hard. I work here as well, so I will be cleaning all afternoon, all morning and all afternoon too after I get my workout in. Um, everyone's doing a great job here, making sure they're cleaning their... their uh, machines and cleaning their equipment and stuff when they're done with it and obviously we're monitoring and making sure that anyone who seems sick or has any illnesses we're definitely trying to ask them not to come in um that's what we can do you guys and that's what i want to talk about right now i just want to talk about some facts i just want to bring this out into the open let's think about this in a positive constructive way okay so if you are watching please uh go ahead and just repost this tell people but I want people to think about this in a positive way, and it's hard right now. Everyone's super negative. People are attacking each other, but the reality is, is let's think about this because um, Mel Robbins, who's absolutely awesome. If you don't follow her on YouTube, you need to because she's going to help you get a good perspective. My wife just made a great post that she just reiterated what Mel Robbins is saying. This may be the first time ever in the history of the world that we're all united together to fight against something. And that is the spread of this ridiculous virus. And no, the virus isn't, you know, the numbers aren't showing that it's worse than the flu yet. But the reality is, you guys, we're just getting tests out there. Like, the numbers are going to go up. More stuff is going to close. If you get that into your head and you bring that reality to the forefront... That's going to make it a lot easier. Yesterday, I had my own little anxiety attack. I had my own little mini freak out. And, that, and then I realized I needed to clean the garage. And so that's what I did. I 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, lift off, go clean the garage. And I used the five-second rule. So thank you, Mel Robbins, for that. But the reality is, you guys, we're all united together to defeat the spread of this disease, the spread of this illness, the spread of this crazy, stupid virus. And if you're on Facebook and you're promoting some sort of conspiracy theory or this or that or another thing, just know I'm going to unfollow you and most likely unfriend you because I don't need to see that. I don't need to see that in my world. If that's what you believe, that's totally fine. You can totally believe that, but I'm not going to watch it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come on here. I'm going to promote positivity. I'm going to promote spreading love because that's what we need the most right now is we need people to care for each other. We need to. You better believe that when I leave this gym, I'm going to clean myself really well. I'm going to wash my hands super well. I'm going to make sure that I Lysol everything. Like, I'm making sure I'm not spreading this. I'm not going near other people when I leave here. I'm doing my best to be able to do that. But we also need to spread love. We need to share with one another that we're okay. That we're doing stuff. Please stop coming on here and complaining. I understand we don't have kids yet. I get that kids are going to be frustrating, but would you rather spend time with your kids and be stuck spending time with your kids than have them get sick or you get sick and not be around your kids anymore? Like, think about what you're complaining about here on Facebook. Think about how that's, what that's doing to your mind. Think about what that's doing to your family and to your kids. Your kids are terrified right now, you all. This is unprecedented. They don't understand what's going on. And if you're on here and you're spewing nonsense, but you're letting them come on Facebook too, what do you think they're seeing? We need to unite together. We need to share love. We need to share positivity. Stop blaming one side or the other. Yes, both sides of the political side, like both people, both groups of people have effed us. It's happened. The truth is, is not that everyone's trying to blame this on Trump or everyone's trying to blame this on the Democrats. The reality is, is that our administration had the opportunity to get these tests from the World Health Organization last month and they said, no, thank you. So take that with a grain, you all. Reality is that's the truth. That's a fact. The fact is that the tests are finally getting out to people. The numbers are going to go up. That's bound to happen. But the, also the fact is that this virus didn't just all of a sudden show up here a couple of weeks ago when we started realizing this. This virus has probably been here for months. Think about, think back to your friends posting on Facebook in December and January about how they have a horrible cough or they have a fever and they went to the doctor and the doctor told them it was an infection, a respiratory infection, but they told them it wasn't the flu. Think about that, you all. This has been around. We need to stop this spread. We need to flatten the curve. 
And that's just truth. That's just the fact of the matter. Spread this, you all. Tell people that you love them. Tell people that you're there for them. If you have information that you can share, go live and share that information. I love seeing like the science mom and seeing people on Facebook showing people how to doodle and draw and color and, and play music. Like That's what we need more of. So I'm just coming on here to let you know to not be offended if you go to find my page and you see that we're not friends. Think back because you probably were spewing some sort of nonsense. And I'm not going to lie. When this first came out, I said too that I was just like, well, I don't get it. But the reality is setting in. It's about stopping that spread. It's about taking care of our elderly. It's about taking care of our friends that have a compromised immune system. It's not just the elderly that have compromised immune systems. People have immune deficiencies. People already have dealt with pneumonia or things like that. Asthma, all of that. So that's why we're doing this. It sucks. Yes, we can't go to the bars. Yes, the restaurants are closing. I get that people are going to lose some jobs. And that's horrible. But to come on here and to complain about it, to put that into your own mind, I beg of you, I beg of you to slow down with that. I get that it stinks, but coming on Facebook and complaining about it stinking is only going to make it worse for yourself. When you put that out there, you put that up here. And when you put that up here, that drives your anxiety. So keep that in mind, you all. Remember, things are going to close down. Stuff is going to change every single day. And while stuff is changing, if you are going to react to it every time, your anxiety is just going to go through the roof. But if you real, like if you realize that that stuff is bound to happen right now, stuff is scary right now. People are afraid, and I don't blame them to be. But try to spread love. Try to share the positive things that you're seeing. Share your own positive skills. We all have them. When you're stuck at home with your kids, instead of complaining on Facebook about being stuck at home with your kids, go on Facebook and learn things that you can do with them. You still can go outside. You still can go outside. Like, it's a beautiful day. Like, look at the sun is literally like shining bright still. The oxygen is still outside and in the air. Like there is still so much good that is happening right now. Let's start sharing that. And if you're going to share crazy nonsensical conspiracy theories, the next time I see another train car with COVID-19 on the side of it, I'm going to block you. If you don't realize how stupid and how horribly done that, um, that Photoshop is, you need to like wake up, you all. Think about what you're doing to other people when you share that nonsense. Think about it. Not just what you're doing to yourself, but think about what you're doing to other people too. And if you're so selfish as to not care about other people, I don't want you on my friends list anyways. So if that's the case, if you're like, you know what, Rob, you should shut up. Don't worry about it. Then go ahead and unfriend me right now. Block me right now. Because I get that we're all scared. I totally am fine. Like, I understand. I'm terrified too, you all. But that doesn't mean I'm going to be spreading nonsense. First of all, if the government was using this and putting COVID on train cars, do you think they would literally label it? Like, come on, use some common sense. Like, that is the thing that has driven me absolutely nuts. I've seen that stupid freaking tanker car shared multiple times because some asshole... Sorry about my French, but some asshole out there decided it would be funny to Photoshop that on the side of it. Look at that picture real well. You can see how clearly fake and Photoshop that is. And it gets me so fired up to see people sharing that because that is nonsense. And I get that you, you're you allowed to have your opinions, you all. You are allowed to have your opinions. But if you're sharing nonsense like that right now and perpetuating the fear, I'm going to block you. So you go ahead and just unfriend me right now. Because I'm going to be on here and I'm going to be sharing positive thoughts. I'm going to be sharing fun things. Check it out. Think about this opportunity right now for us to get closer together. We are at one of the most like polarized times in the history of our country and the history of the world. People are literally like ignoring and unfriending their family because of politics. Maybe... The powers that be, in my opinion, God has 
given us this opportunity to get closer together with our friends, with our family, not in person. Look at this amazing thing we have, you all. We have the internet. We can FaceTime. We can Zoom. We can go live on Facebook. You can call people. The phone still works. You can write letters. When's the last time you wrote a letter to one of your family members? That's what this is supposed to be about. This is supposed to bring us together. This is the first time in the history of modern world that we are all united together to do something. We are all united together to stop the spread of this horrible virus. Let's take that opportunity. Let's love each other. Let's share positive thoughts. Share your why. Why are you making it through this? Put it in the comments. Put it on my post. Like, post it on your status. Proclaim that you are here and that this is not going to stop you. Some stupid virus that apparently everyone is like, okay, well, it's not even as bad as the flu. Well, then why are you letting it get you so, like, scared from it? What I'm scared is to see so many people be so selfish and so negative. Let's share some love, you all. And like I said, I'm not here to make you like me. I'm here to make you love yourself and love your family and love your friends. So if you don't like what I'm saying, you can go ahead and drop it in the comments. I'm sure some people will. But then please unfriend me because I don't need you to worry about it. You can Then, then I don't have to see your stuff. I just want to see people sharing love. I want to see people sharing positivity. I want to see people coming together. This is like, we are so lucky that we have tools like the internet, tools like cell phone coverage, tools like uh, the post office is still going because we have the opportunity to stay connected even though we have to be physically apart. We are lucky for that, you all. Think about how lucky we are. Think about if this happened 30 years ago. Let's share some love, y'all. Let's be a little more positive. Love, y'all. Sorry, thanks, you guys, for letting me rant. You know that's why I come on here. I I feel so much better now, too. (sighs) I just want you guys to know that I care about every one of you. I love you all. And I don't want to see everyone so worked up. This is tough. This is hard times. This is unprecedented. But let's take this time to truly become a stronger group of hum- like become stronger as humanity let's stop worrying about who we're gonna blame both sides are at fault right now our administration literally turned down millions of tests from the world health organization in the middle of last month the democrats keep trying to blame everybody else but themselves like both sides are screwed up guess what i'm not a politician so i'm not on either side i'm on the side of humanity i'm on the side of love I'm on the side of positivity. Let's spread some more of that today. Love y'all. Have a good day. I'm going to go work out now that I'm all worked up. (laughs) Peace.